Hello and welcome to my new studio. I said I'd take you on a guided tour. So here we are. As we come in through the door, we've got a big set of drawers for odds and ends. And I've got pencil drawers on the top with there's Pablo's and some luminance. And then my pastel ones are in there as well. And more over here. Albert Dura, the watercolour ones and on the top I've got spare sheets of pastel mat I don't throw any of the scraps away I like to use them for practicing different bits and pieces on the wall I've got Gotcha and August and in the corner the pencils I use the most are my polychromos I've got a big box of those and the pencil sharpener they are all there, they're all being used at the minute so I have got them all there. More draw space underneath and a big box there with spare pencils in. And this is my new shiny desk which I'm very happy with. It gives me a lot more space than my old drawing board. So that's brilliant. And you can see I've got a tablet attached to it. I prefer to draw from a tablet rather than just a photo so I can zoom in and see the details. And above that, I've got a daylight lamp and a picture of Luna. So the bit of wood there is just for me to lean on so I don't get my hands all over my work. And then down there, I've got pencils tucked away. All my colour charts are there as well, which many of you have downloaded. I've got a trolley there which is storing all my pencils I'm currently using so you can see my polychromos are still tucked underneath there that need to go back in the other tray. And then I'm using pastels at the moment. So I've got a manual pen uh, pencil sharpener for those, they don't um, work well in my electric one. And then up here, more odds and ends on lots of little shelves, including my sparkly gems tins and bottles. On the top there nice and safely is some pastel mat, large sheets of pastel mat which I've started getting now so it's stored nice and flat. Then spare drawing board, my old drawing board which I shall be using now for workshops and that's Petra who I've still got to finish off. She was going to be next but the robins have taken over so I'll do this one robin and then I might get back onto Petra then. And then underneath here we've got more paper, small sheets of pastel mat and some other odds and ends of paper there. And then the drawers have got inks. On top of the drawers is the Nicarus board, which I really ought to get and use a bit more. And I've got a large table there if I want to use my laptop or for cutting out and mounting prints. And other odds and ends. And on the wall we've got, just give me a minute. I saw the squirrels again yesterday, they're back in the garden burying nuts again. I haven't seen them all summer. And on the top shelf here we've got some prints and there's a few mounts there. I've got more in the other room they've got to come through. And then here I've got some just finished originals. That's the one Robin I've just done. And underneath him is Griffin, ready to be framed up. There's some more originals tucked away there. And of course my certificates, which I'm very proud of. Um, some bits and pieces tucked behind there for a workshop I'm going to in a couple of weeks. Um, a scanner, so I can actually get to it easily now. And then in all the boxes are things for when I do stalls. I've got it all tucked away there, packed up, ready to go. And more GK prints in the black portfolio. And then that's it. And that's my studio assistant, Scrunchy. She's ignoring me at the moment. I've no idea what I've done, but there you go. Thank you for visiting my work, um, my studio.